Hi everyone, uh, so it's 7 and I am back on Instagram after a little break. So uh, I know it's a little weird that we're talking about uh, COVID on my page which is uh, primarily dedicated to uh, skincare but uh, I have been noticing that uh, you know over the last few weeks uh, how all of us are feeling is uh, very different from how we were feeling at the beginning of this lockdown. I know uh, the virus is much closer to all of us than it was uh, in the beginning of the lockdown. We are seeing people around us get infected, people in our own families or maybe us or our colleagues, friends. And it is getting scarier by the day, but it's also at the same time getting very uh, frustrating and uh, you know everybody is sick of the virus now and they want to just be done with it and go out but this is the time that where we're not supposed to hi charan so yeah my friend charan is here and i will have him join the live right now um charan i need you to send me a request to be in the live so that's why I decided that it's very important uh, to talk regarding um, how we should be dealing with the stress and the anxiety and the guilt and all the other various emotions that we're feeling right now in this pandemic because um, yeah, so Charan is here. I'm just going to join him in and then we'll continue. Hi guys, hi everyone. I can see a lot of uh, people joining in. Yeah. Hi Charan. Hi Janki. How are you? Hi. Good, good. So, yeah, I was just talking about why I'm talking about COVID and stress on my page where I should be talking about skincare. But, uh, Are yeah. they related? They are related. We already did a talk on that, guys. If you yeah. missed it, please go back to my IGTV and you can watch it. But, uh, I think over the last two weeks, all of us are, uh, you know, are facing so many different emotions that uh, none of us have ever seen in our life, probably. I'm speaking for myself, like, I, I haven't seen this level of anxiety and stress uh, before. But yeah, I think as doctors, we are seeing a lot of it and even normal people because we're seeing this virus come so close to us. I think our whole perspective on how we were dealing with the pandemic during the lockdown is very different from how we're dealing it dealing with it now. What do you say, Charan? Um, first of all, I want to tell people that uh, it's normal to feel uh, anxious now. It's... If you don't feel anxious now, that's a problem, actually. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I think yeah. the people who are spreading this virus around are the ones who are not feeling anxious. They're the <laughs> ones who need to actually work yeah, on them. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I mean, I keep telling everybody, right? I mean, having moderate amount of anxiety is always good. It keeps us grounded. It keeps us uh, more cautious and aware of our, ourselves and uh, surroundings. If you have too little anxiety, you know, that's a problem. Especially in pandemic, what happens is you you won't take it seriously. I know yes. I'll, um, yesterday I happened to go to a registration office, a government registration office for some property registration. That's so brave. I felt like I dived. <laughs> I, yeah, very brave, I tell you. I, yeah. I mean... I felt like I dived into a pool of COVID. Um, nobody was yeah. wearing masks. Uh, you know, uh, they're, they're acting like, you know, they're, they're, they're immune to the uh, virus. I, I don't know where that uh, guts come from. Uh, exactly. I, I, I really, I, yeah, actually, I missed writing that in my uh, notes when I was writing it down. It's not, we should talk about the vulnerable groups and we should talk about this extraordinary group of people who think they're not going to get the virus. Yeah, they have superpowers yeah. apparently. <laughs> yes, so they're the I, ones who are propelling I, this pandemic forward is what I feel. They're saying that it's yeah, children true. and stuff. But I think it's this group of people who are not being careful and being very socially irresponsible that is actually taking this virus forward. True. I mean, so yeah. Uh, uh, when I'm seeing the cases go so high, I thought, why is this happening? Because I come to hospital and all of us are very careful. Patients are also pretty careful. Thinking, yes, actually, yeah. Then I like thought yesterday, what is going wrong? I thought yeah. yesterday, what is going wrong? Uh, yeah. People, I think, I think also there are so many rumors about vaccine being out uh, by, by yes, different countries. Yes, guys, even like, if the vaccine is out, it's 
it's not going to come to you so soon that you know sure. you, you can stop yeah. this pandemic yeah. now so yeah 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 I, true yes true. and as doctors i think we somewhere understand the seriousness of the whole situation but i'm surprised that people don't you know people i i have people i'm seeing a lot of people on social media saying oh it's a cake walk it's just we're asymptomatic and it's not doing anything to us then you're very lucky if it's not doing anything to you but we are also seeing young healthy individuals um, you know it's actually affecting people in so many ways the spectrum of the disease is so huge it's baffling i mean even those people who didn't get affected who possibly ran a asymptomatic infection it's virus yeah. you know if it if it stays uh, dormant in your body and it gets exactly you know any yeah. other infection in your future now that's going to be another yes. problem for you so why yes, is virus yeah very scary like that they are very scary and i think it's the the sea of misinformation that is available is mm-hmm. unbelievable so you know that's actually why i'm doing a series of uh, things on covid where you know i thought it's very important that somebody really gives out the right information it's not like i'm going to give out a ton of information because i don't know much about the virus but you know like you are probably seeing a lot of patients who are dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety and stuff related to the virus and uh, for a lot of people this might be a very new emotion and you know something that they would have not felt and they're probably ashamed of it or they're probably uh, you know people who are making fun of them for feeling so stressed and anxious about it or you know i feel it has to be addressed and you know people need to talk about it much I, I, i feel like for once people are not making fun of it uh, i think now I, for people who are feeling anxious now they know how it feels to uh, uh, be yeah. anxious you know for for, for it, a reason. yeah Yeah. I understand it now. I've never uh, understood when people used to say oh I'm having an anxiety attack or you know I'm feeling anxious. So Charan can you just tell us what exactly anxiety is and how hmm. how it can be addressed and then we'll talk about a few other things I prepared. So anxiety is basically uh, whenever we are faced with any any situation and if our brain reads it as a uh, something that is bigger bigger than us or something that is overwhelming to us or something that um, makes us vulnerable then brain will secrete some hormones called stress hormones they're yeah. called as um, catecholamines now these are yeah. fight or flight hormones what does it do it makes us either fight the threat or uh, run away from the threat flight run away from the threat. for example i i keep telling um, this example very often when when i suddenly see a snake that crawls into uh, my room right now you know yeah. i obviously see a snake as a poisonous uh, uh, you know uh, animal and i would obviously my brain will obviously tell me either to fight it or run away probably smarter is to run yeah. and not fight it um, yeah. so it's the same thing in case of uh, pandemic also because we know we are in a situation that is a threat to probably global uh, globally it's a threat so immediately my brain will secrete these hormones that will make me go through certain symptoms that is mm-hmm. called as anxiety now what are these symptoms you know there are physical symptoms there are psychological symptoms uh, for me maybe i might feel a different symptom uh, maybe dr jan ki might feel something else might feel something else but the commonest presentation you have to be aware of is first one is called palpitations palpitations are uh, racing heartbeat your heart rate doesn't need to increase it just needs to be louder you know mm-hmm. even in movies we watch right whenever there is a uh, yeah. like a yeah. like scary situation we yeah. hear their heartbeat as a background music yes. like, that's yes. that's such a important symptom that's the first yeah. one second symptom is uh, uh, breathlessness or uh, hyperventilating you feel like yeah. you know you are suffocating we are seeing a lot of people actually feel yeah. that because and uh, yeah. they are all freaking out because they're like oh they think it's, uh, it's COVID, you know they're yeah, like yeah. oh we have covid and that's why we're feeling breathless yeah. but yeah, yeah. yeah. it could yeah. be because of anxiety guys yeah. yeah it could be because of anxiety now third one mm-hmm. is obviously sweating then you can have tremors tremors is uh, shakiness throughout the uh, body or hands then you can have light headedness so people can have fainting spells uh people can have uh, urinary urgency people can have headaches multiple body aches muscle yeah. tension they're always feeling so rigid and so stuck up because of uh, their muscle yeah. tension 
and there are many more symptoms these are the common symptoms that can occur and nausea as well you might and vomit yeah. so what grade of anxiety would you want to actually um, you know when should you actually start talking to a doctor yeah um these symptoms if they're occurring too often to you and if they're occurring um if they're interfering with your daily functioning that means it's pathological anxiety it's not a physiological or normal anxiety uh for example let's just say i think every day when i get stuck in a, stuck in traffic and if i have patients waiting for me i feel a little anxious because like how will i yeah. finish all the patients in the yeah, time and yeah, how will yeah. i go to yeah. another hospital that i yeah. work for that is normal yeah. but if that yeah. anxiety is making me not go to work avoiding the work and going off into uh, going uh, uh, driving off to my house and closing my door that no that is pathological yeah. so yeah. these symptoms what are they doing to you you have to notice first are they affecting you if they're affecting yeah. you to what extent uh, what intensity yeah. what is the duration what is the frequency and any uh, socio occupational impairment as in is it affecting your personal life and professional life now that's a problem that is something that you need to definitely uh, like see doctor yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, there's a question here saying uh, satya is asking us what are the common anxiety disorder treatments for that you'll have to see a doctor sir yeah. <laughs> you have to see a doctor you have to see a doctor yes. i mean uh, it, it depends you know there are, there are there are uh there are medications of course there are medications and there are uh, some psychological techniques that the counselor will help you with um yeah. and there's a combination of these both so i, I can't tell you just this one thing that yeah <laughs> so yeah so i thought it's very important to talk about two three groups in pertinent to this actual situation see the main first vulnerable group to i think all sorts of anxiety and disturbance is the ones who are actually uh you know who are testing positive and who are getting quarantined that is a different level of anxiety that they're probably facing or you know uh, there's this other group that is you know the family members have tested positive and you know they are in isolation these these people are outside and taking care of them that's the other group and uh, the next group i want to talk about is people like us who are treating these patients is another i think hugely vulnerable group because we are also dealing with something very very new to us unlike you know i always uh, tell people you know as medical profession we're trained to do something and you know we see it over and over and over again before we actually see it in a clinical setup and on our own so this is something entirely new to us so um i was thinking we should address these three groups and also we should also talk about children because i i am definitely seeing a huge change in the way the kids at my house are behaving itself i'm sure it's some sort of anxiety or you know they understand that something different is going on but i don't know how they're able to handle it so i wanted to address these uh, four groups charan so so i mean i i don't think so the anxiety reduction techniques are different for different people it's mostly same for everybody but obviously you know if you are affected uh, uh if if you if you if you tested positive obviously you're going to experience a mixed range of emotions not just anxiety you might be irritable you might feel guilt you might feel helpless uh, yeah you might feel uh, uh, uh you know a very pessimistic um, unsure yes. you know there are multiple emotions you might actually feel depressed um all this yes, can happen that i can yeah. you know it's highly possible because i've actually seen clinical studies which are saying that you know uh, more than 10 days in isolation can actually really impact your mental health so and now yeah. they're saying that uh, they're saying 17 days in isolation isolation for a month till you test negative and stuff so it will definitely have a huge impact Uh, on the mental uh, well-being of the patient you know knowing that you are infected with the virus and being all by yourself i'm sure it will take a huge toll hmm. so i i i think uh, um, you know if it's definitely affecting you to that extent you'll have to see a doctor you know there are a lot of online yeah you know online there's help available doctor. online and i think they should yeah. definitely i actually personally think they should make it mandatory that a psychiatrist or a you know a clinical psychologist speak to these patients as a part of the uh, as a part of these covid healthcare package uh, what do you think yeah 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 i think a lot of multi specialty hospitals mm-hmm. are definitely doing that um uh, yes i think uh, it's a very yeah. good way of uh, dealing with the situation i think yeah yeah that is true they're offering i think group uh, group therapy and in you know one on one uh, uh, therapy depends upon your needs and uh, 
Also, it depends. Now, what if you are a patient who are already having a pre-existing mental health condition? If you already have yeah, anxiety. so good you brought that up, Charan. Yeah. So, who yeah. are these patients who are more vulnerable to yeah. actually going ahead and developing uh, issues? Anxiety, 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 okay. or whatever issues they might yeah. be. Yeah. There's a huge, uh, I think, pyramid of healthcare issues that yeah. they can develop. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the first thing is obviously uh, uh, people with pre-existing anxiety conditions. it could mm. be social anxiety it could be generalized anxiety it could be panic uh, panic uh, disorder people with just panic attacks uh, uh, yeah. or people with obsessive compulsive disorder called as ocd you know people with yeah. these diseases are at high risk second high risk is for people who have some uh, medical conditions that can manifest as anxiety for example if you are a hypertensive now hypertensive yeah. the problem is hypertension can manifest as anxiety as a symptom itself or hypertensives are anyways uh, slightly more um, susceptible to be contracting a uh, virus after mm-hmm. getting the virus also they are at slightly higher risk uh, than a non hypertensive of developing complications so yeah. it's a mixed bag for hypertensives there are multiple yeah. reasons why they should be anxious right um, yeah. the third group is obviously people with cardiac problems because uh, one of the commonest presentation even without pandemic for cardiac patients is anxiety you know most of the cardi- yeah. cardiologists also treat for anxiety uh, along yeah. with their uh, the regular uh, cardiac uh, tra- regimens uh, these yeah. are the three main groups and one more important uh, group is obviously people with um, uh, immunosuppressive therapy for whatever reason people with yeah. uh, long term uh, steroid uh, medications uh, people yeah. who had of transplantations and things like that but that's a very like a rare uh, like a small margin of population but rest yeah. of them are at definitely higher risk also people with yeah. uh, substance uh, uh, dependence alcohol uh, smoking and so smoking, on so forth, yeah. any of the drug dependences they are definitely at higher risk of developing anxiety exactly. uh, these are the yeah. people and then we have addison's disease and all which i don't want to get into correct like, yeah which i don't think the normal patients yeah. really have to talk yeah. about yeah. Yeah. so yeah. Uh, there were a couple of questions that said you know uh, we have patients who have tested covid positive in our house and you know they're quarantined and how do we deal with that stress so there was a sorry, question sorry. go again no there was a question that came in uh, for us that said uh, i believe one of the patients uh, family members had tested positive and uh, if my if me and my family test asymptomatically positive how can we take care of ourselves physically and mentally okay first thing is don't get ahead of yourselves uh, don't start assuming that you know there will be a complication uh, because, yeah i think that's know, the biggest thing at this yeah, point yeah yeah because understand that our assumptions are always far more scarier and worse than uh, reality 99% yeah. that's the case you know we always think yeah. what's the worst yeah. thing that can happen change your attitude and now that you already infected there is nothing much in your control to be very honest but to take good care of yourself when i say good care you can't stress much why you can't stress much is obviously stress damages every level like you know i'm talking about hair loss to cancer everything correct everything yeah. i mean such diff- different diseases come under stress so uh, yeah. when you when you when you're feeling stressed you are ending up worsening your uh, viral situation as well so Correct. try to de stress yeah. how to do that i'll tell you're you you're going to activate your immune system and you're going to go into the cytokine storm that is going yes. to make your symptoms worse yes so yeah yes. it's very so very first, important first, yeah uh, second is you know you know it's a virus at the end of the day we all had flu uh, right from we were born uh, in the yeah. school in rainy season when the winter when the when there is seasonal uh, change uh, right yes. now during pandemic there is virus constantly yes. in our life what did we do yeah. doctors never told us to take antibiotics course unlike bacterial infections they told us yeah. eat well rest well sleep well and drink lots yeah. of water this is common advice given to us by every doctor yeah. uh, because yeah. that flushes off the virus that decreases the viral viral load you have to do the basic things of sleeping well because i know a yeah. lot of um, youngsters especially um, if they are feeling if they got tested positive and if they are obviously at home quarantine they are obviously bored throughout the day so they tend to take yeah. naps in between and in the night they tend to watch a movie and morning yeah. they tend to sleep do not yeah. do that you know your sleep will obviously affect your um, your entire functioning of your brain and body and so yeah. on so, so they're so, actually saying that 8 hours of sleep makes a great difference in the way you recover from this virus also 100% yeah. isn't that what we were told you have to rest well yeah. for while you need to give your body time to 
to heal, heal itself. Yeah. yeah, to heal, to heal. That's very, very important. And drink lots of water. Yeah. So I was actually Can going to ask you about water. that sleep disturbance. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're asking about what to do with sleep disturbances. So like uh, can... that was another thing. No, no. I'm sure we're seeing a huge uh, number of cases. You know, I mean, even if they don't come to us, I'm sure a huge number of people are seeing that there is a lot of sleep disturbance that's happening, and you know, mm -hmm. either because you're at home all day, there's not enough physical activity as much as we used to have it before, or because of the anxiety we're waking up or. or the constant being bombarded with all this news of the covid virus i think that's also playing a huge role in not sleeping well i think most of us are not sleeping well now true 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 yeah. i mean uh, the first thing what i think you should be doing okay let me let me let me tell you like a regime probably that will help mm -hmm. rather than just mm -hmm. like rather than just me speaking without head or tail let me tell you a regime that yeah. might work for you. uh yeah. first of all let's start with sleep um uh -huh. what are the what are, what are the problems with the sleep one is we sleep late we wake up uh. late right which is okay i mean uh. i shouldn't be saying it but you know what i'm saying is as long as you are doing this every night you are fixing to your sleep timing for example i sleep late at the doctor like i sleep at on 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock i don't sleep at 10 o'clock and wake up at 4 o'clock or 5 mm. o'clock so mm. but every night i make sure i sleep at 12 that's my time or yeah. one whatever yeah never uh, let your brain be confused uh, if you're sleeping or not if it's a morning or a night that should never happen so for yeah. that what we need to do do not exercise in the evenings you know there is a myth about exercising yeah. uh, makes you feel tired and you fall asleep that's not that's not true yeah. at all do not yeah, do that yeah it activates uh, you and right yeah yeah uh, that's one thing and second thing is uh, avoid smoking i mean avoid smoking for for, for an entire day but you know if mm. you are anyway <laughs> smoking you know at least yeah. do not smoke after 6 pm because um, you know uh, smoking will affect your sleep uh, so 6 pm should be your cut off but don't go and tell the doctor charan told it's okay yeah be like okay i can smoke till 6 pm yeah <laughs> no so, no yeah. no not true, not true. Uh, that, yeah. that one is that and third thing is obviously i know it's next to impossible what i'm going to tell you avoid screen at least for 1 to 2 hours before you go to bed because the blue light coming yeah. from the screens uh, decreases your melatonin production so your sleep won't be maintained all through the night you will not be able to go from one stage of the sleep to the another stage smooth if you are using a screen before you go to bed that is one important thing and the fourth important thing is eat at least 3 to 4 hours before you go to bed because you need the food that you ate to digest absorb digest and uh, go to your brain so when brain gets nourished enough then uh, it will sleep well but if you sleep at 10 o'clock and going to bed at 11 you know the food is still in your gut yeah. it hasn't reached your brain that is very very important yeah. but if you feel hungry because you ate 3 hours back if you feel hungry you can have a light snack you can have a glass of milk you can have chamomile yeah. tea chamomile tea really works for sleep is what they say oh wow um, you know you, yeah not green tea yeah, chamomile tea yeah green tea makes you up again yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, you can do you can do the simple things and do not lounge on your bed use bed only for sleep or sex don't like just lounge on the bed roll on the bed you know yeah. most of us do it we tie yeah, yeah. to like to yeah yeah avoid that and the most important thing avoid 9 pm news i know everybody like <laughs> most of the families yeah. uh, you know Yeah. People have dinner, uh, you know. They sit in front of, yeah. you know, your local yeah. channels and they watch TV. Yeah. Don't do that because uh, there is no great news that happens at nine o'clock. They, they they tell you how many people are affected, how many more are uh, dying, etc. That will obviously stress you. I mean, that will stress anybody. Yeah. Personally, I stopped watching nine p.m. news and I am actually sleeping very well. Uh, so it's a personal experience. Yeah. So maybe you should do that. I think yes, we should. Yeah, we should all try to yeah. avoid the news channels. I think they're more toxic yeah. than the virus itself. <laughs> True. No, yeah. but 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 then but then we have to be informed. Uh, so what I'm doing is I have news time. So that's evening around five o'clock. When I finish my work at five o'clock to five fifteen, I watch news. And at five fifteen, I'm gonna stop myself from watching news I, because it's so tempting to know further what's happening. Yeah, what's going on? True, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, don't do that. Fifteen. in the evening or yeah. any time but not close to bed time not after you wake up because that will again activate yeah first thing after you wake up true 
so yeah another thing i wanted to talk to you about was um, the guilt so okay. how do these people deal with the guilt the guilt of uh, infecting people the guilt of carrying the virus back home or uh, the guilt of actually having uh, gotten the corona virus there's various types of guilt that people are talking about right now hmm. is there anything that we can uh, do yeah. or tell them that can be helpful yeah. probably yes yes in all the situations you should understand one thing it's an accident you didn't wish this on anyone you didn't wish this on yourself you didn't bring this on anyone if you did i'm sorry you should be feeling guilty <laughs> true but but but, yeah. but i'm sure like nobody does that if you're positive you know you will be more careful and all of that uh but uh, just 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 understand it's an accident it was beyond your uh, out of your control yeah. and there's understand we are not yeah, there's about. nothing that yeah. there's nothing that we can do uh yes. for example uh you know let's let's say that you know i am positive i didn't know i didn't have any symptoms and because of me some two or three people got infected i'll obviously feel bad i know i'll feel empathetic towards them but i'm not going to blame myself for it because yeah. i did everything i can to be careful that's all that matters yes i think that's the most important thing in this whole situation that we be careful yeah. to uh, try not to spread it around but yeah if it happens it happens there's uh, i think that's very important that uh, we have to get to a stage in the society also where uh, there's no shaming of the patients mm. you know mm. there i i do read here and there that you know uh, patients are uh, being ill treated doctors are being ill treated still so it's it's very uh, saddening to see stuff like that so yeah i mean uh, as a psychiatrist i don't have an opinion but as a as a fellow uh, citizen i feel that's absolutely shameful yeah. that you are shaming someone yes. who is yeah. infected because yes, it you know you know karma always comes back you know it to be your turn next That's true. and you know yeah, so right? i think people yeah. should uh, focus on Absolutely. that as well yeah. so another yeah. common question that we were getting is about stress eating that is my favorite topic and i always bring it up in you know your my talks with you i think so yeah. uh, people are seeing a lot of uh, stress eating there is a huge i mean there was also questions about how they should not feel guilty about gaining weight during the pandemic i didn't really understand the question but yeah so how do we uh, yeah. is there anything that we can help them with the stress eating okay so one thing is what stress does is it um, there are two hormones in our body one causes appetite one suppresses appetite Str uh, mm -hmm. when you're stressed what happens there is imbalance of this both hmm. so you will end up feeling hungry so understand it's normal to feel hungry but what you are doing with the hunger are you going to go and binge on a, a bag of chips or a box of chocolates no that's a problem because obesity yeah. is definitely a high risk for covid complications even if you get infected what happens to the infection is decided by your body mass index apparently that's a card that's one of the risk factor so yeah. you have to watch carefully uh, eat carefully uh, now more than ever so mm -hmm. when you when you're hungry you can eat why don't you go and eat atherogenic diet this is a diet uh, or atkins diet they call it it's just protein or you're eating a big bowl of salad um without mayonnaise and obviously without mayonnaise and cheese and all of that yeah, just yeah. plain salad or just two three uh, vegetables or uh, something like that uh yeah. eating fruits is again not good you know i don't know why people think you know i eat yeah, i it I, I, I will spike up your sugar levels yeah it will spike up your sugar levels and it's not filling also so don't do that yeah. but if you want to eat it's better to eat a fruit than drinking a uh, fruit juice you know it's always good to eat right. a whole fruit yeah uh, yeah so probably you can you know with appetite you can you can you can one is see appetite comes as a craving it comes and goes it's that you know janaki when we are in yeah. pd and when we work work without lunch right. break we feel hungry yeah. we feel you hungry and then it dies down and then you don't yeah. feel hungry anymore yeah true so the, so uh, when the craving is postponed uh, probably by by you doing something else you know what i would do is yes. i i drink lots of water when i'm hungry so i go yeah. have a doctor deepa was also talking Deep about it in our live yeah she's like you're most yeah. probably yeah. hungry and you're not uh, you're most probably thirsty and you're not actually thirsty. hungry yes Yes. So yes. yeah. So that's so another thing. So uh, yeah. there was another question about uh, thanatophobia. I don't know what that is. <laughs> thanatophobia is uh, fear of death. 
Oh wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a very fancy word. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's too word. fancy. I didn't read about it in med school. It was clearly no, no, not I, there. Yeah. I didn't read. <laughs> so yeah. So when when you open up Google and see phobias, there are seventy eight kind of phobias, which is oh wow, absolute okay. like. They're not medical, you know. They're not a part of the person. Yeah, I don't think they're all actual phobias. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, as so, a person, uh, I'm obviously scared of scared of medical. Must be a very informed life. person who's asking me this question. Yeah. So mm. they know about this. I I've never heard of this. So yeah, how do they deal with it? It's 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 not a medical thing. I mean, obviously, everybody is scared of death. You know, mm-hmm. unless you are yeah. you are a monk who sold Ferrari, then yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah all of us are scared. I think uh, doctors are as much scared of getting the virus, and you know, yeah. as much as normal people are, and we deal with it. Yeah. Can you can you tell us a few tips on how to deal with this stress, not the phobia, but generally mm-hmm. the like? I think you've already pointed out staying away from the news channels, sleeping well, and yeah. other than that, yeah. are there any? Ex- what is mindfulness? With I'm seeing a lot about this mindfulness yeah. uh, stuff yeah. on YouTube and stuff. So, uh, will that be helpful? So, mindfulness is basically uh, you distracting your brain from unnecessary anxiety and concentrating on what needs to be focused on. For example, okay. let me give you because you are you just asked about uh, eating. Let me tell you what is mindful yeah. eating. Mindful eating is me instead of what I what, what people do normally they they grab food. they put tv and they relax and they eat so there is no end to how much you eat the portion is not controlled what yeah. is mindful eating it's very very different you are you're, you're going to turn off everything else and you're just going to uh, stimulate only your sensations that's your obviously smell of the food how the food looks and how food tastes obviously you know yeah. these are the things uh, that is important the texture of the food consistency of the food how it feels when you eat mindfully you won't be able to eat as much you would if when you eat mindlessly You know? yes, so yes. that is one thing so in general mindfulness is for example i i tell everybody you know uh, this might sound little funny but you know when you are anxious you know i might take like a like 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 an object for example i have a dark reader here let's just yeah. see that i oh, take wow. this and i'm only concentrate i'm going <laughs> to i'm going to concentrate yeah. on the object or in the material i'm going to focus everything about this and what i like about this when i'm doing that my brain is focusing all its capabilities on the object so anxiety can diffuse off that is one thing oh, oh uh, yeah yeah mindfulness is that you don't have to co- concentrate on that weather but you can concentrate on something else yeah on something else just to take your mind off and yeah then in that situation it might be helpful even for uh, you know patient in this whole covid situation to keep your mind uh, a little off yeah. things so uh, i see my family is having a nice group chat on this chat session <laughs> so i'm going to take those questions in the end but uh, so uh, speaking of families and you know friends uh, we're all uh, we all have to maintain social distancing still it's 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 very important just as much as it was at the beginning of the pandemic so how important do you think is uh, is you know maintaining a emotional connect at this point when you are socially distant no that that's yeah. the most important thing i i'll tell you what's the problem now me um because you know we we go to hospitals and we come back yeah. and the only yeah. day we have off is sunday and sometimes that also we go and do rounds so yeah. let's say we have half a day in a week free yeah we we don't work from monday to friday so we just have half a day Correct. we yeah. end up most not meeting anybody any which ways we end up just relaxing or watching tv and yeah. once in a while we might go out for a meal now the problem is most of the people are like this but now the fact that you cannot go out is making yeah. people want to go out and meet people more exactly yeah they want to go out and they want to meet people and stuff i think even people who were really yeah. anti social before suddenly miss the whole idea of being able to go suddenly, out yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so what what you can do is obviously I mean, you 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 know what whatever i'm going to tell you know and these are not you just have to hear it really from like, someone else and someone else yeah right? that's why we so want first to thing is, uh, me and my friends what we're doing once in a week we all are doing a video chat and we are doing we are cooking the same thing we are cooking the same meal for example we made like recently thai curry rice so all of yeah. us made thai curry rice 
Yeah, so I'm hearing a lot about these like... Zoom sessions. I I believe they're very popular abroad, where uh, one of my sisters uh, yeah. moved from there, and yeah. you know, yeah. she uh, was telling me about these Zoom painting classes that they're having, Zoom cooking class. I found it very uh, weird. I mean, I mean, yes. I've never heard of it, so I found it weird. I think. But do you think stuff like that yeah. is helpful in maintaining a connect? And do you think it will actually make you feel extremely, better? Extremely, ex no, extremely helpful because. Uh, Uh, anyways, we are the we are we are social people, and you know we are connected with the technology. It's not like we yeah. are always going and meeting friends. You know, we always are on phones and stuff. Yeah. So it's wonderful yeah. to do a hobby together. For example, oh, uh, there are a lot of online painting sessions. You all can join the painting sessions. There yeah, are I online. Uh, there are online crafts going sessions. on. There is online baking. Baking I believe sessions. there's wine baking tasting sessions, sessions also going on online. So I'm just <laughs> baffled with the kind of creativity people have, and you know the kind yeah. of things they're yeah. managing to do. Yeah. So it is helpful. Yeah. You're saying good. So I think I'm gonna try one. This yeah. But they but the problem here is Janaki. What about mm. the people who are, let's just say, my mother? Mm. She she cannot operate like you know she cannot just join Zoom by herself. Correct. True. Or my grandparents. True. True. Exactly. Yeah. So what do we do people. with the older generation? True. That's actually a very good older point. Generation. I didn't think of it. I was being yeah. selfish. Older generation. Yeah. What you have to do is, at least you travel to them once in a week. Uh, you know, get them all the groceries and yeah. you know, see them from a distance and say, maybe I, teach yeah. them. Yeah, teach them. Uh, you know, install like a Zoom app on their phone or a video calling app. And tell them I will send you because most of the old people use WhatsApp. WhatsApp is not very yeah. like you don't yeah. need to be text savvy for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, send a link for them and let them click on that link. And like recently, my grandmother's birthday was there. Uh, my entire family from uh, you know all over the world, we all got on a video call. And oh wow! And she couldn't she couldn't come on the video call unfortunately. Oh, that's really sad. That would have been wonderful for her, I think. Yeah. That would have been wonderful. So we took screenshots. Yes. We all spoke for an hour or yeah. two. We took screenshots and sent her. Yes. So, so yeah, that, that does make a difference, and I think technology is per se being very helpful to all of us in, uh, I think, remaining yeah. connected emotionally True. during this but, pandemic also. But, but make sure you're <laughs> not always on the phones, not always doing these Zoom sessions and all. It's always good to go back to the traditional idea of you know getting a paper and you know a, a, a pen and uh, you know writing something. It's called journaling. It really works. Or, yeah. Uh, uh, you know journaling helps in reduction of anxiety. It helps in problem resolution. It'll help in yeah. you finding multiple solutions. If, for example, I have a problem. You know, if I'm thinking, my brain might switch from one area to another, and I might never come back. So when I put it down yeah. on paper. Don't yeah. type it on your computer or a phone. Put it down on a paper. Write down. Okay, this is the problem. I have financial problem. Now, what are the solutions? What can I mobilize uh, uh, yeah. to make me financially sound right now? You know, when you write down, that's how all the movie directors they write stories. They they oh, go wow. to a place and they write down. They don't yeah. type. Yeah, true. The so journaling is uh, yeah definitely a great way to yeah talk about all yeah. this. Journaling actually reminded me of this uh, this guy, the actor that died. Was all over the TV. Yeah, Sushant yeah. Singh Rajput. Yeah, I believe yeah. there's some controversy regarding how he died and mental health. So, as a psychiatrist, what do you think? Uh, it's very unrelated to my COVID topic, but I thought. Mm -hmm. No, I really don't know. I mean, what? I I don't even know if it's like a suicide or I don't know murder. I don't know what is. Yeah. I, I, to be very honest, um, I wasn't following the case at all. I don't think anybody should be following that case. It's become so yeah. toxic now that you're talking so about toxic, that all you know? the time. Yeah. No, I mean, I oh, I yeah. really didn't follow. I didn't follow the news at all, to be very honest. I just yeah. understood that okay, he passed away, and oh, that's very yeah. sad. Uh, I just prayed yeah. that you know his family should be has to have the strength to face it. Yeah. But that's about it. I don't. I don't. I don't see a point of. Putting in all the energy, so much effort. negativity on a daily basis. Just so much negativity, and you know, when you when you are in when you are reading too much about a suicide, there is research that it can stimulate suicidal thoughts stimulate. in your own yeah. in your own sure. brain. That's not good for you. You know, put yourself yeah. first. You know, then some actor. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. so, I don't. So that, that is like very that. important. Correct. No, no, no. I wanted you to say that. That's why I asked you this. So uh, another important thing that I thought we should talk about is work-life balance. I mean, you know, there are some people who. Uh, sorry. Yeah. No, I just saw some comment there. No. So um, there are some people who you know have been working from home for a long time and they're you know totally acing it, but there are certain people. 
for whom it's very new working from home and you know uh at the same time managing your house where do you draw, uh, draw the boundary and you know where mm. how do you decide that this is uh, yeah yeah this before, is how before, you balance the whole situation yeah before that uh, uh janki someone asked how to avoid suicidal thoughts it's not today's topic but i'll tell you one oh. thing yeah yeah nothing, yeah no, it's an nothing topic. nothing is worth ending your life nothing is worth ending okay. your life you know That's it's true. never an option uh it's not even your last option you know um, there's always plan a b c d e how many ever plans you want you can always make alternative plans you know always when you feel so lonely when you feel so depressed you know all, please seek help you know please see a doctor it's Don't very forget. important yes it's very easy there's, to process i think yeah. a lot of helplines have also been opened up where you can call anytime and speak to someone yes, i think yes. roshni or yes. there's some ngo that does that as well yes and and i i and you know i'll tell you something what works for you uh, you know if if you're feeling like you know like worthless and things like that guilty or whatever write down it in fact today's my page i posted something three things to remember because i actually happened to see uh, four or five suicidal uh, cases in one day so i was feeling wow. so low so i, I, I no so no low. i'm sure there'll be a great increase in this number of cases because of the you know financial strain that's going to increase in a lot of people yeah and yeah. Uh, like i said society is not being very helpful to the patients who are getting infected or their families so yeah we will see a lot of uh, increase in this suicidal ideation which i think should be discouraged and yes yeah. please uh, look on dr chalan's page i'm sure he can put out a uh, few numbers where you can talk to people to help you in case yeah. you feel stuff like this and no also 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 you know if 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 you're constantly feeling like you know i'm worthless you know what you, what i want you to do i want you to write exactly opposite to that saying that you know i'm awesome or i'm 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 worthy you know i yeah. i'm i'm not small i'm not trivial write down that and stick it on your wall and see it every day visual medium is the strongest medium that's why movies are a hit and not radio comparatively yeah, you know definitely if you listen visual to me, mediums definitely work yeah. yeah i mean just now i told you you're awesome you know that might make you feel happy for like a minute but if you write yes. down and put it on your wall that will help you know that will definitely help in fact Looking i was talking to my friend the other day uh, how to avoid the suicides you know because it gets to me also as a doctor i bet you malaria right? yeah 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 it's very yes. difficult it's not an easy job yeah. so i was i was yeah. discussing with my friend you know how do we do this why are people not realizing the how beautiful your life can be and stress yes. is a part of part and parcel of life there is going to be up and there's going to be down and then yeah. my friend told me when she traveled to korea if i'm not wrong korea or japan uh, apparently mm-hmm. there is a bridge where a lot of people were jumping off the bridge uh, that's called like a suicide bridge almost like suicide oh, wow. kind of thing oh, apparently oh. government has put uh, lights uh, neon lights or different kinds of led lights writing oh. that you are awesome uh, hey beautiful how was your day today uh, oh that's so uh, nice yeah yeah apparently the suicide rates have gone down uh, after that by a huge yeah. person whatever works I'll yeah you, i'll tell you what a suicide is a impulsive decision yeah very rarely well thought uh, of the plan yeah true if if last minute if someone can talk to you or be nice to you that could to turn your day around so mm-hmm. government has done that i thought that's wonderful why can't our government do things like this you know yes like, i think they should Yeah, but fantastic. i think adornment is not finding those places where they put it inside yeah so i guess not they, they can they can put it on like you know like how they are finding places to put uh, politicians uh, posters and uh, correct you know, yes actors, they should posters. put out why some motivational uh, content yeah. yeah true that makes a big difference i think yeah and i also yeah. think that you know people talking about mental health and all that is also you know impacting everyone in a good way it's very important yeah also but i feel there should be a balance if you're talking too much about mental health yeah you start in mind about anxiety anxiety if someone is not feeling anxious they will also be like oh i may something yeah, probably something i have it too. true yeah true, maybe true. i should feel like you know so, yeah so, true true it's I a very fine told, balance yeah yeah i in fact told my 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 viewers that if you think my page is overwhelming you unfollow mm. me doesn't yeah. matter i'll follow me and get back to me when you're feeling better because i tend to give out a lot of information about diseases and diseases are not uh, uh, correct correct awesome things or pretty things it might distress you 
if you think that is happening unfollow unfollow anything that you that makes you feel vulnerable and this thing follow yes. happy things that's why i started putting the motivational quotes these days definitely Because i think that makes a big difference yeah that makes a big difference i know? think just the act of uh, no that's what we keep telling uh, our patients also you know i keep telling my patients you know do your skin care routine if it makes mm. you feel better then there's nothing mm. like it if you're just taking care of your skin and you're feeling good about yourself that's fabulous you know or having that little routine that you do every day might act in a way yeah. of you it's it's like taking care of yourself yeah putting a little face mask or you know putting on a little lipstick whatever if it makes you feel good then yeah by all means i think we should do it i mean my my, my uh, I, w- i was doing a live with uh, one of the doctor dr supriya she told me she was yeah. felt so good that day because for the first time after many months she's put lipstick and she's actually dressed nice yeah All even i dress up for my legs good. and i actually feel much better yeah so i think it yeah. makes a huge difference uh, yeah. so yeah that was the thing and um, yeah uh, should we take the questions or there was uh, charan i think quickly you should talk something about uh, children and how we should be helping them deal with this uh, whole stressful situation around them also sorry i think we completely skipped the work life balance before Yeah. Uh, yeah yeah let me let me quickly address that uh, for the for, for people who are not able to concentrate because somebody is asking if you are not able to focus and what Yeah see doing. like I am working from home now which is a huge change to what I've ever done in my life so obviously I I totally understand people being confused about that whole work from home thing and I have great respect for all these IT professionals who are able to do it But I think they are struggling I uh, I'm not kidding uh, because I'm getting yeah. a lot of patients saying that they're not able to concentrate also apparently their work has increased you know hmm, uh, probably little do we yeah. know about engineers lifestyle we don't know much because we're right, always right, in our own true. trouble right so uh, so uh, if you have big house small house doesn't matter find a room find a corner turn it into a workspace turn it into yeah. a workspace put a desk you know uh, beautifully arrange it you know put nice curtains put some one or two plants If, see this is not my subject but what i'm telling you is yeah. something that i have done i've seen my friends do it and it's working for them right yeah. you understand i want you to punch in and punch out exactly at the time that you would do when yeah, you're going to real yeah they're making a huge difference yeah just huge sticking difference. to the just time because, schedule yeah, per yeah se. just because just because you can punch in punch out whenever you want don't do that and you know what dress up dress up in formals yeah Sit don't send pajamas or something comfortable yeah. chair Don't be on the bed with your laptop, checking your mails and working. I'll tell you why. Your brain got used to working to its best efficacy or efficiency in a certain posture, in a certain environment. When you suddenly yeah. change it and put yourself on a bed in a reclining position, your brain thinks yeah. you're going to sleep. Your brain can't see. Your brain can be dumb sometimes. You know. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all of us. I'm talking about. So you need yeah. to let your brain know that okay, I'm in my work mode. I'm dressed a certain way because even clothes how they feel on your body. Apparently, even that sends signals to brain that this guy is or girl is up to going to work. So that will increase yeah. your concentration. You know, do all yeah. these little little things. It sounds very silly when I say it, but when you start doing it, I think I think you'll you'll actually. Yeah, I think you will see a difference definitely. Yeah, true. So um, yeah, from there uh, from work life balance, uh, my favorite topic again: kids and how to deal with their stress <laughs> and tantrums. Yeah. I think okay. being the mother of a toddler, I'm very uh, children centric yeah. with my questions. Yeah, no, it's very difficult. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because um, uh, kids like to explore things. Kids like to, um, you know, imitate people, see different kinds of people, observe and learn. That's how their brain grows in the first six years. Yeah, I feel so bad for these generation of children yeah. that you know they're having you to see it, the pandemic yeah. so early on in their life. Yeah. If there's anybody that we should be concerned about is children because we all will be fine. We'll we might feel anxious, little depressed. We might actually bounce yeah. back. Yeah, we can talk about it and still like express it. Yeah, true. Yeah, but for children, you need to be as a parent. It's difficult for you. It's not easy. But you know what? Between true. you and your kid, kid requires more attention than you. So yeah, you need yeah. to be a class of twenty children for them. You need to be their school yeah. teacher. You need to play yeah. so many roles in their lives. I'm sorry, yeah. there's no other way. 
the only way yeah and you i understand to... it's very overwhelming yeah. for parents at this point but yeah, yeah i think you know but, you know a lot of parents think that you know from morning to evening my wife will take care of the child and from evening to night i'll take care of the child i understand mm-hmm. financial pressure uh, pressures and work work life <laughs> imbalance all of that <laughs> but at least try to give undivided attention to ch- child every day for one hour at least one hour i'm not saying only one hour at least one yeah. hour together both the parents yeah. together i'm talking about teenagers also to the teenagers because yeah. teenagers are so uh, used to uh, getting a lot of attention from the friends and you know yeah suddenly it's a huge outgoing. change for them yeah there was a question from vikti about that. what suggestions do you yeah. have for teenagers facing isolation yeah in a, in a way for teenagers it is good to be grounded in the house now and reprioritize yes. and reconnect with their families because i know teenagers are one of the worst phases people are rebellious for no reason i was i'm sure yeah. dr yeah, janaki yeah everybody was. is at some point <laughs> yeah in, yeah in in our own degree so we all have been through that correct yeah we always so different uh, it's good time to connect with your family actually uh, play board games together don't play ludo with random strangers on uh, on the app on the phone Directly. yeah please do on it on the at home please True. get a get an actual ludo board and play with your family you know yeah it, why don't you all cook together why why should only your mother cook why should only your wife cook why don't you all go and one of you cut the vegetables let one person cook cook it on this thing and let one person clean the table and do the dishes afterwards but stay together all this are, see all this is followed in the western countries you know but, but yeah in india it's not as much in true. india we have very clear gender defined roles and uh, that's true yeah <laughs> there is that parity and i think we're seeing it more in the lockdown than ever <laughs> because yeah, yeah. the women are in the kitchen constantly and it's true, true, yeah. True, true. So, yeah and also also uh, about uh, for, for kids right you know bonding is very important you need to you need to provide so many people's attention for the kids uh, make sure at least you take them out into your balcony and let them see people because yeah. when they see things when when they see that's how their brain improves that's how the brain yeah. neurons yeah. will connect with each other that's very important yeah. don't put them in the house don't do that yeah uh, yeah, uh, yeah. also yeah, they're not going one... to schools and stuff mm. it is a huge change for them so yeah yeah you can do a dress up party for them you know you can all yeah, dress the same thing like get some photos sure. click whatever yeah. you know in what i saw that really cute picture that was on the internet about uh, these parents who had recreated a restaurant atmosphere yeah. for kids so that's yeah. yeah oh that was beautiful that was beautiful yeah that yeah. was a really nice thought and wow yeah. i mean very yeah. patient uh, parents yeah. i think yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah So that, that video is from the west again it's not from india yeah it's 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 not from india true but we can do it in imitated right we can actually get inspired what do you think inspired. of the long term side effects of these uh, lockdowns and social isolation on children and people per se mm on children i think uh, they'll have uh, obviously i wouldn't know because i haven't ever seen patients post pandemic this is the first pandemic yeah, of my life correct i'm sure yeah but, but, what are you but assuming? i'm assuming yeah but i'm assuming they they will have a little delayed reaction time uh, yes. in terms of education or even yeah. instruction things like that they can yeah, be yeah because uh, i think uh, they're just going mm-hmm. to be at home for it's it's almost been like what 6 months now yeah yeah i don't yeah, even know yeah, i'm not yeah. even counting yeah 6 months and might we don't know how long it's going to prolong it that they're going to be at mm-hmm. home and i'm yeah. pretty sure it's going to have some sort of an effect on the yeah. on them and Push. for sure yeah, uh, but i'm think... sure we can we can we can we can uh, uh, stop the progression to some extent at least by yeah i think pediatricians and i think psychiatrists and psychologists together should come up with something to help kids tide over yeah, this yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely also I also for uh, coming mm. from kids to smokers i want to specifically tell all the smokers mm. covid is a respiratory infection primarily just yes. understand you know lungs yeah, I, have I know cell. a lot of smokers who are thinking that they cannot get the infection because they are smokers which i think is extremely extremely stupid no, so no, 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 no. yeah not just getting but you will succumb to the complications of covid see smoking yes. will not decide if you will get the infection or not but god yeah. forbid if you get the infection you it's going to be very very hard for you to it could be more difficult come you know? back from those yeah. are the people who are put on ventilators and you know in icu and things like that correct. so be very careful correct so that's that's not where we want to be and we need these smokers to be extra extra careful <laughs> yeah also so. also what helps in what helps in covid i'll tell you let me tell you so my friend mm-hmm. who is a dermatologist uh, one of my friend right very very close mm-hmm. friend from bangalore yeah. he is yeah. doing this care packages so what are care packages 
to all her friends and family to whom serve oh. how many ever people she is yeah. sending little gifts you know, oh not nice. not expensive yeah. like little nice gifts with a reminder mm-hmm. saying that hey we all are connected i just got a, i'm not kidding i just got a gift uh yeah. 15 minutes before we started the talk she oh, sent that's because, so sweet. Yeah. yeah yeah she sent like little seeds to grow your own plants mm-hmm. in the garden because yeah, she said that's a really nice thought i think a small nice thought towards anyone yes, would yes. make a huge difference in yeah. this pandemic true this this yeah. care package will help you make you feel more connected and things like that yeah i Same think thing. yeah so it is very important so i'm just going to quickly take these questions in the next uh, for the next 5 minutes because i think we'll get disconnected and then we'll wrap up yeah so there is a lot of uh, eyes and hellos from everyone who joined so i see a lot of people uh, who have joined who have tested positive and you know who have recovered so anything you want to tell them pertinently pat on your back you survived this yes you survived but, this and yeah. you know but but don't be don't be reckless that you will not get it again yes be that is sick. so important i cannot emphasize on how important that is if you got the Uh, virus once it does not mean you are immune to it there are about 150 strains of this virus and yeah. the second time you get infected can be much worse than the first so please um i was actually seeing dr shilpi's video where she was talking about the gastro um, uh, symptoms that they're seeing and you know the fecal root where they're getting reinfected multiple times so it is quite scary so please be careful Yes, we were the ones who had a session for the Infosys people. So yeah. Oh hello. Uh, yeah, someone said, "Are you the same people?" So yep. <laughs> yeah, we are the same people. <laughs> <laughs> so Satya Yala is again my brother-in-law, who's uh, very very enthusiastic and wants to know, but uh, very irresponsible in the pandemic. So, um, what? we've got all these and uh there's questions how can one cope with the uncertainty of this situation was another question that we got simple thing is obviously go with the flow and go uh, go with like go uh, like live each day as it is don't plan ahead because it is a global yeah, pandemic planning it's ahead at this point is the worst thing to do yeah so but, i read but, somewhere but that one of these business- Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I read somewhere that these uh, somebody said 2020 is the year to survive. It's not the year to make plans. You just survive yeah. the year, and then you're good. No, I- I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I think positive thinking does make a huge difference because, uh, you know, the other day I was talking to my family, and we were thinking, you know what? As a doctor, we are seeing less number of patients coming with other infections, uh, because people are following true. respiratory etiquette and hygiene. Uh, road That's accidents true. have been reduced. Road accidents yeah. have reduced. You know, I I know new news and media is obviously focusing on, uh, you know, the blasts and you know multiple yeah. uh, different things that is happening. All the bad things that are course. happening. True. Yeah. But but there are many things that have reduced, and the nature is healing. It's so important yeah. because I'll tell you why. If the nature didn't heal, one earthquake or one tsunami, we all will be wiped off yeah. from the face of the earth. At least COVID. That's true. This is that is probably still... the silver lining of this whole situation. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I I personally yeah. think so. I mean, I could be completely delusional yeah. for thinking like this, but what I feel is no, no, know, positive thinking. Yeah, positive thinking does happening. go a long True. way. Yeah. Yeah. So Satya is again asking us, what lifestyle changes can I help? Uh, can I make to help me feel better? We've talked about that already, and uh, so yeah, there's a lot being said about meditation and the Headspace app. And stuff. Do you think it it actually helps with anxiety and stress? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I I can't believe I didn't I didn't tell that yoga meditation works wonderfully yeah. because uh, yeah. you know in anxiety what happens? Your heart rate goes. Charan, in case we get disconnected, through. I'm going to join uh, start the chat again because it's saying one point two. Uh, I think in another oh. minute and a half it's going to disconnect. Yeah. So your your yeah. heart your heartbeat might go high. Your respiratory rhythm might change. So with meditation, what happens? You are trying to bring them back normally, naturally. So that's a great way for you to protect your heart uh, in anxiety. So meditation is a fantastic yeah. way. Uh, yes, I I am a true believer of that. Meditation and yoga both work wonders for uh, your skin as well. So yeah, 
I think you just have to motivate yourself to get to doing it. So thank you, Mandika. Um, everyone who's saying my skin is looking fabulous, thank you guys. I think not going out is really helping. <laughs> so oh yeah. Um, is it common to have anxiety about people around you not following social distancing properly? Is another question. Yeah, yeah, I have course, this anxiety. I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what? Smile and tell them please put the mask up. That's what I did to you. Everybody. I'm not smiling. I'm just saying, today. please, please be more careful. Stay away from me. I mean, they can't make out if you're smiling or not. But you know, yeah, with the mask, very, I think yes. Yeah, initially I was being angry, but it wasn't working. Then I told them, yeah, sir, please put the mask up. Yeah, so that's very important, and I think it's perfectly normal to be anxious around people who are not following social distancing. When is the live ending? 